my YouTube channel manager son has to fix. Today's video is about how to tell the different the PS4 controller, PS4 Pro, a normal standard controller, which is not original. So I'm going to show you the different how to spot it's in the market at the moment. There's so many of them, so I'll show you how to. Don't get scared. So I'm going to open it up and I'll show you. So hi guys, this is the PS4 controller, this is not the original one, the only way you tell the difference is, this is not the Pro obviously, I've got the not the Pro one as well, the heavy wise is similar, but you can tell if you actually look at it very carefully, the problem is when you buy them, they buy in a box so you don't really touch them, so it's already sealed up in a box, but if you can open it, take the box out and feel it, if you feel the buttons, they're not, you can tell they're not original. And also these buttons, the way they're designed, the original ones is more to feel more the quality. And even the quality is not, it's not really good. And also at the back, I don't know if the camera can catch it. Normally the code is CMH, CMH, but this one says model, and the original one doesn't say that. Even though these ones, the original ones, it's been peeled off, so. I had these controls quite a long time, peeled off, so two of them is gone. But you can tell the back, it doesn't have all this stuff, it's not the same. It doesn't show it, the original one. Everything doesn't feel like, when you touch it, you can tell it's completely it's not original. But when you touch it, the other one, you feel it, you actually grab it a nice quality of grabbing. It's nice, so let me open it. I did another video opening these controllers. I'll put it somewhere in the video so you guys can watch it. So let me open not the original one and see the difference inside. So you need a normal screwdriver. You guys you have to be careful. There's so many of them on the market nowadays. A lot of people are trying to sell it, give you a discount and say original controllers. If it's possible, buy them, check it very carefully, feel it, see the different, check it properly. Even if it feels a little bit light. So once you take the four screws out, what I normally do is I just squeeze it out like this, side to side, so the so the clips get loose. I just hold it in the bottom bit, just hold it, turn it the other way around, and the same thing, do the same thing. That's it, and that should just come out. You see, that, that's how easy it is. And lift it up slowly because you don't know. Normally, the flex cable is on the side. This is a new controller I bought to show you guys the difference. I'm going to lift it up. Everything looks similar apart from the vibrators. The vibrator is the quality is not the same. That's why you feel the weight is different. Everything looks exactly the same, even the battery wise, because the battery is similar. But the connection, the way it is, the battery doesn't face this. Way. normally the original one face sideways like this this is coming out this way and this one's coming out the other way so i'm going to open the original one and i'll show you even though we're in buying it from the shop don't really open it but, but you can feel the heaviness because the vibrators are not much heavy this was you can see the vibrator how small it is when i open the original one the vibrator is different so let me open this this is a normal stand ps4 controller so let me open this one and i'll show you the different again once you take the four screws like this turn it over and just make sure your hands at the bottom flex cable at the bottom you don't want to pull it Hold your fingers, now just come out easy and lift it up slowly. This one, no more. The R2 and the L2 is big, it's stuck. So you just need to slowly push the L2s and R2s through so the top part can come out. Sometimes that happens now on this occasion. You can see the R2 has come out. So we need to just push it, push it in, take it out, and then reconnect it again. Like this is what I was saying the design and vibrator. And look at the connection where the battery is. The battery I was saying is facing the other way. This line up this way, and this one, that's why on this one, this one you can see how small. It is, but this one is how big it is. That's why this, the battery, that's why the controllers are big, and also the battery connection this facing line up sideways, and this is facing this way. But apart from that, really, it's hard to tell. So, you guys have to be careful. And one other thing, I was playing this fake controller on a PS4, I was playing the FIFA game, and when you put it on, it tells you this controller is not original. It comes up on the screen, comes up, says no original controller. So, that's it. When you put it back together, it's easy. Line up this one in between the gap, and you just sit it down. That's it. Click it back together. That's how easy it is and then you just put the screws in there. With this one, it's the same thing too. With the R2, I need to clip it back together. That's it. That's in there, and then make sure this plastic bit goes in between the R2s and L2 just sits in there. Make sure you put this one on the side. This controller I had in quite a long time, so it's one of the oldest controllers. But the original one doesn't have that. The original one comes out like this one. Like the, the way this one came out. So you put this one together, that's it, that's done. And then you just put the screws in there. I hope you guys find this helpful. If you did, subscribe to my YouTube channel and give me a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.